Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be another Nurse React video. So if you're here for Charlie, I apologize. He will be back soon. Um, but for today's video, I am going to look at Amy's life journey. Um, she is a YouTuber that does weight loss journeys, sort of like Amberlynn. She's also super problematic throughout her community i'm not too interested in the drama um if i i know a lot of my viewers right now they don't um they don't really watch this kind of stuff but there are some that do so if there's anything that i think is like pertinent that i probably should explain i will otherwise um i'm just going to react to it it was requested of me for some medical information that may or may not be correct my guess is it's going to be incorrect since they asked me to watch it so we will see she's vibrant and colorful isn't she if you're new, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already done so, would you ever so likely nicely? Oh, and I did speed up this video like one and a half speed. Um, I heard that she can talk a little slow, but she seems a little happy, a little peppy, a little more than I wish I was at the moment coming off of night shift. But here I am. Please hit that subscribe button down there and also hit the notification bell so you get uploaded, notified every time I upload and when I go live. Oh, well, while you're at it, you can hit my subscribe button and my bell so you can be notified too if that's if that's what you want to do. Oh my gosh, you guys. Welcome to Ferrari. Oh, happy. Party in the head. Yeah, I, I think I need to slow this down. Let's slow this down a little bit. Let's do 1.25. It's a little much. I haven't had any sleep yet. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I have been... Today has been a good day. All in all, today like has been it. a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic day. I... <laughs> let's see. What all have I done? Um, I got my all of my results back from my blood work and everything that okay. I got uh, the other day. Everything came back perfect in normal range, but... Um, my A1C is elevated, so now he put me to double in the morning and at night of my metformin, along Make with... Make sure you eat that metformin with some food. It, it does have some side effects, some GI side effects that aren't pretty. But if you're already taking it once a day, you probably already know that. Oh, and he's going to call in a finger pricker. Lance it. Thing, check my blood. Um, and then he also found a urinary tract infection. Good time. I'm on a theme here. Urine, urinary tract infections. I think I should specialize. These are good times. So I was like, all right, take it with a grin. Let's do it. Let's, let's just do it. Let's do our thing. So <laughs> uh, we are, um, we just had a really quiet day today, really. I mean, I just got back actually from Walmart. I mean, I literally just walked through the door. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to get on and close my day out and talk to you guys for a little bit and share with you how my day was. I know. So, is she a daily vlogger? I'm not sure, but coming home from Walmart, like that wouldn't be my first thing I would want to do. But I mean, more power to you. You got more, way more energy than I got. Um was that was my day uh i did want to address um the question of is sebastian alive and well i yes. don't know who sebastian is my little sebastian is alive and well i will place a little video clip right here oh no is she holding a skunk that's sebastian uh-uh uh-uh no no this lady's got a pet skunk and the skunk's eating cheese i don't know if skunk should eat cheese i don't know if they shouldn't eat cheese but she's holding a pet skunk a pet skunk i don't know where she's from but here in my part of the world in my little part of ohio we don't have pet skunks we don't let them in our house No, no, no. Mm-mm. These jeans have a... 
<laughs> and yes, that is Sebastian just yesterday, actually. He is doing very good. He is nosy and busy into He's everything. He's running but around your house. Do you have a skunk? I know you can get them. Um, what's it? The descented. You can get the, the sack removed. I'm probably not saying that right. But I'll be damned if there's going to be a pet skunk running around my house. I can barely handle the dog and the cat and the four kids. I, my little guy is not dead. I have not eaten him. And... No, I haven't gotten rid of him. Especially, you can't get rid of him in Oregon because it's actually against the law. Because you can Oregon to get rid of them. Not a t um a not a report. What the heck am I thinking of? You have to have a the permit to have a pet skunk in Oregon. Good to know. Permit you cannot transfer. It's not transferable. So it has to only be in mine and Ollie's. Our Scott's not or skunks a hot commodity in Oregon? People just lining up at the doors to have a pet skunk? Am I missing something? I'll go and give it to somebody else. So, therefore, we're with Sebastian and we love him. Good. And Keep him in your house. Owner, so, in Oregon. So, anyways, yes. He is alive and well. Very alive and well. <laughs> And I'm doing really good this week so far. I feel like I'm I'm doing it. I am getting this done. You know, I have been making much better good. choices this week. Um, you know, you guys aren't with me 24 hours a day, so I don't blame you to be questioning it, especially from the last couple of weigh-ins where I have gone up significantly, not just a pound or three pounds. We're talking like 20 pounds, uh, then got me back up over where I haven't been in like forever, which was the 482. 482. Thursday morning I weighed in at 483 and then um, I've weighed a few more times since then so one more time since then um, and I'm not going to disclose what it was because I want it you already to be, told us you were um, weighed 484 what's the shared on Wednesday because I'm okay. still doing Wednesday weigh in my WW day we are not changing that so um yeah um there was something else i wanted to tell you guys and i completely forgot maybe your eyebrows that was mean I'm oh sorry. i know um i also have seen okay let me just kind of rephrase that i i said that i do not read the messages or i do not read the comments and nine out of ten i with don't these but people they have these youtube channels and they don't want to read their comments so now you put me why do you even have them? To double oh, in the I morning and at night of my metformin, along with, I was like, all right, take it with a grin. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Oh, no, no, no. I can't watch this gunk again. Anyways, yes. No. He is alive and well. Wednesday, because I am still doing Wednesday weigh in. My WW day. We are not changing that. So We're just going to have um, to rewatch this a little bit. Yeah. Um something else I wanted to tell you guys and I completely forgot. Oh, I know. Um, I also have seen, okay, let me just kind of rephrase that. I, I said okay. that I do not read the messages or I, I do not read the comments and nine out of 10, I don't, but for some reason Thursday, like yesterday evening, I was sitting there and I don't know what got into me to do it, but yeah. Maybe I it's because you have a YouTube channel. Most people do this for interaction. Yeah, you don't want to see the hate comments, but I don't understand people who don't read their comments. I mean, these people are watching your videos. You should be grateful for that. You should respond back to them. You don't have to respond to the negative, but at least read what people are saying. That's the whole point. I, I don't understand. It just riled me up, got me irritated, got me frustrated. Put me on my defense, and you know that's just don't not read where your I'm comments. Yeah, you know, I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to tell you my comments for review because you know at this point I just feel like if people want to make a comment, they're going to. That's make what the comment session's for. People want to make a comment, leave a comment. You can choose to read it. You can choose to not read it. You can choose to react. You can choose not to react. I mean, it's not. It's not rocket science. It's not difficult. And why do I have to take that away from them if they want to make a comment? So. For me, I might like, go for it, do it, you know, be my guest, 
If it makes you sleep better at exactly. night, say what you need to say. Um, but I do appreciate all of the amazing, good messages that I also read. Uh, they're not all bad. I mean, there are quite a few, and we just need to work with them. You, you know, focus on the good comments and ignore the rest. I mean, just, it's easy as that special people that need extra extra love and we need to show it to them and be kind to them no matter what that has always been a thing <clears throat> that I learned as I grew up is you know two wrongs don't make a right two meanies don't make a nice person so what I always did is I always took the higher route and when someone was bullying me or someone was being mean or saying things could be from family or whatever um, I always showed them back with love and to this day, I'm still the same person. I'm the same way. I mean, you rarely will see me get my hair ruffled. Just Didn't by someone you just saying say something that's what happened? Get him towards me. Um, you know, I do take things personal, though I'm a human being. I have feelings just like everybody else. I don't like being talked about just like everybody else. But at the same time, it is what it is, and I can't change that. All I can do is continue to do me and share my journey and my story. And it's your choice to believe it or not. I can't, I can't change that for anybody. I feel like I'm getting yelled at. Is she always like this on her videos? All I can do is put my story out there and if you want to accept it, accept it. If you don't, you don't have to. But it's there for people to hear and know that you're not alone fighting the same type of demon I fight on a daily basis. Okay, um, move on. You know, I am called a liar and a pathological okay, liar. This is getting to the problematic stuff that I'm not going to get into on my channel. Um, hopefully there's a little more medical stuff coming up. And less of the skunk. Single day. And I scratch my head and I ask myself every single day that I get that message, what have I lied about? I, I really would like to know what I honest to God have lied about. I'm sure if they're on your videos in your comment sections telling you you're lying or calling you a liar i'm sure somewhere in there you can figure out what they're talking about things according to you guys because whatever scenario you made for me i'm not living that scenario so to you guys i'm i'm lying again it's like she's because yelling at her subscribers hmm. I'm not living what you expected of me and I'm not gonna do that you know yeah I gained 19 pounds in one week you gained 19 pounds in one week sure did I sure did and you know what there's nothing I did to bullshit happen you don't gain 19 pounds in a week for no reason you just said all your medical tests came back fine so apparently you don't have, uh, I mean, I can think of a couple of things that maybe possibly, but 19 pounds in a week? No, you did something or, or you didn't do something. You ate everything and you did nothing. You don't gain 19 pounds in a week just because without some underlying medical condition. Where in this, you just said everything came back fine, but your A1C. Other than, yes, I will say, okay, I'm going to back that up. Yes, I did make choices to gain a lot of that water that, weight. That's not water weight, babe. That 19 pounds in a week is not water weight. By eating the things I shouldn't have eaten. And I also made the statement, too, that I was not active like Clearly. I should have But that didn't, that wasn't the whole reason I got 19 pounds put on. I just found out that I've had a urinary tract there infection it is. for God knows how long. You don't gain 19 pounds in a week from a urinary tract infection. You just said your blood work, your tests, whatever came back fine. So your kidneys are functioning fine according to what you just said. You do not gain 19 pounds in a week from a urinary tract infection. If you can find somewhere to prove me wrong I'll post a retraction. I'll get on here and say I'm sorry. I don't, it won't happen. So right there, my body's fighting an infection. Just because your body's fighting an infection doesn't mean you gain 19 pounds. We fight infections all the time. We fight off germs all the time. We don't gain 19 pounds in a week. 
and your body does you know hold up water especially when it's starting to back into my kidneys it's if it's starting to back into your kidneys then the lab work you just talked about and your doctor's appointment they would have said something you'd probably be in the hospital going to start creating problems and your body does retain so that right there is a big reason why i i gained that 19 pounds bullshit you didn't gain 19 pounds from a uti prove me wrong you didn't i'm not saying that i didn't do anything to I'm instigate that to happen no i'm saying you absolutely did I'm not saying that because I know that I did. I am the only person that can create 19 pounds on my body. Whether it be... be I am really curious to see how you gain 19 pounds in, in a week. What the hell did you eat? Did you... Because I have an infection. That's my problem. Not... It's not from an infection. Yours. Or whether I went and I ate fast food. That's my problem. Not yours. And if I've moved enough to make that all be worked off. That's my problem. Not yours. If it's your problem and not ours, and you're going to continually yell at your subscribers, is anybody even watching her? If you're going to talk about this stuff, people are going to talk about it too. So if you don't want people to talk about it, don't put it out in the universe. Don't put it out on the internet. Don't make videos about it. What? Are you Are you kidding me? What kind of person does this? I mean, just sit here yelling at the people, the probably the very few people that actually care and worry about her, and she's sitting here yelling at them that it's my problem, not yours. Well, don't put it on the internet. So, I take full accountability and res As you should. Responsibility for everything that I do, I am responsible for. Yeah, you're a grown ass adult. You should take accountability and responsibility for everything that you do. And if you don't want people to know, you don't put it on the internet. I don't want people to think that I am not responsible because I am. But it's really sad when, honest to God, I have been so transparent and so honest. You know, I could have just went and said, you know what? Have you though? Have you been so transparent and honest? I, I really like to know how you gained the 19 pounds in a week i don't feel like weighing in this week because i know that i'm up so nobody's forcing you to weigh in anymore. i'm just gonna act like it or not weigh in and just move on and when i'm ready to get back to get back on track then i'll start stepping back on the scale so you guys aren't gonna see me going up 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 down 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 up 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 you know because i am taking time away from the scale but instead nobody's forcing you to get on the scale and put it on the internet i pulled my big girl panties up and I owned it. And I said, you know what? I'm going to step on that scale. And I'm going to do what I got to do. Because this is what I said I was going to do. Well, good for you. Do you need a medal? To do. And I stuck with it. You know, I I know that you guys kind of got frustrated with me because of the whole um, life by gin thing in me with the weigh-in whatever. Okay. I don't know anything about this life by gin weigh-in thing. It's another drama thing that I'm not involved in. But Jesus God. forget what it's called. Uh, challenge. Sorry. <sighs> Eyes are watering i hope you guys like my makeup i'm not gonna be mean obviously i'm not one to wear makeup i'll be the first to admit it but those eyebrows are filled in and they're that that's a wing that that's a wing look right there i sure tried today However, I wore like a brown. I don't know if it looks good or not. Honey, it looks like you got two black eyes. Again, I'm not, obviously, I'm not a makeup wearer. Um, maybe off camera it looks all right. It just, it, it's, it's not my style. I tried to do my wings and I tried something different today, you guys. I filled in my eyebrows. Can you guys Let it go, Liam. Please notice them? Yeah, we noticed them. And I got a new lip gloss. Look at this one. How did we go from yelling at me and yelling at her subscribers to... 
filling in her eyebrows and her lipstick. Got this one. I got it from Walmart on clearance for two dollars. It's um, CoverGirl Melting Pout Vinyl Vow. In the. I mean, I'm not hating on the lipstick. I mean, it. It doesn't look bad on her. So it's, it's, it's not my taste. But, I mean, if she likes it, go for Color, it. Color vibrant thing. Ooh, vibrant thing. Oh girl. Yeah. That's a look. I love this stuff. It's nice and cool. And then I even have my sparkles. Can you guys see my sparkles? Yeah. She's doing that most here. So anyways, um How could she go from just so mean and bitter just to happy and and bubbly and But with the whole way. Oh now we're going back to mean. Okay. I feel I kind of feel like I got ran over on this whole situation because, you know, oh, it wasn't my idea to do the she challenge. That tucked in. I was approached and I agreed to it. Okay, just because it wasn't your idea, you agreed to it, so it became something you I wanted it was to, be a do. Cool thing to do. And I knew it would be an amazing incentive for us to. Push each other and have this is that, more of that drama that I'm not. You know, I don't know anything about. I'm like not getting into support system. I'm real curious to hear more about the 19 pounds in a week. I, I need to know. Two people are doing this together and they're not alone. The part that I changed was the the money part, and that was because I had a lot of people telling me, "Amy, why are you giving money away? Like we're not understanding. Why would you do that? If if I was to win, I'm not going to take your money. I'm going to make you keep it and put it towards yourself, your family, your kids, whatever. But I, I don't no want the money. I want you to save it. Ramble. Well, after I was told that by like probably 30 people, I was like, okay, fine. Then I'll just keep the money and I'll put it towards like weight loss stuff. You know, I don't have a problem with that. But then I got backlash from that because I'm I was told that now I'm changing girl, things around. Girl, girl is doing this. fine. And I wasn't doing it to. Either do something or don't do it. Agree to it or don't do it. Agree to it. Change your mind. Jesus. But if you notice, I've still stayed on. I'm still pushing on. You know what? I you. did go up in my weight the last two weeks. I I'll did. I'll send you another gold cool ribbon. I 100% own that. But you know what? I stepped on the scale for you guys. I showed you the numbers and I owned my choice of action, which was, mm -hmm. you know, and I just told my oldest son this yesterday. Actually, we we're having this conversation. Choices make actions, and choices cr and actions create. Uh, huh? Um, God, I can't even think. Actions make, or choices make actions. Actions bring consequences. So, every everything you do in life, there's always going to be something that follows behind, whether it be a consequence or an true. For example, you tell your your following on on the internet that you're going to weigh in be honest to be accountable these people hold you accountable you get you give out yell at them i mean there's something there achievement but something's going to come following behind action so for me the choices i made for the last two weeks that i gained my choices created the action that i was going to use and that brought in a consequence of me gaining weight How Ooh, that was some mental gymnastics to get to that point. Something I told you 10, 20 minutes ago. However, I'm not going to say it was all brought on because I ate really bad. Because I really did not eat very bad. Yes, I had Taco Bell one, one night that uh, week. But other than that, I was on track with everything I was... You were not on track with your diet and ate Taco Bell one night a week and gained 19 pounds. When you say... You have no major medical concerns, except for a UTI that will not cause a 19 pound weight gain. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, counting my calories because I've been writing it in my notebook. I'm gonna go back to just doing it on my fitness pal because it's easier for me that way. Because sometimes- I think you need a new calculator. Because I don't have my book in front of my face, so I'll be like, okay, I'll just, I'll put it in later and then I'll forget, or I'll forget what the calories were and I have to go back and figure it out. And it's just a big old hassle. So this way with it being on my fitness pal, it's in my phone. My phone's always with me, so I will always have- There is a million one excuses going on here and there. A way to log my food. My water intake has been up tremendously. I am- Tremendously? drinking so much water that I I feel really good though that I 
Then how are you getting all this water weight? I'm drinking this much water. For breakfasts, I'm going to be doing smoothies because that's just the easiest thing for me to do is a smoothie. Just, you know, this morning I had a kale and spinach, pineapple, smoothie. Yeah. I was trying to think if it was pineapple or orange, but it was pineapple. And then we're wondering why so, our A1C was up. And the, the pineapple that I use, it's a um, vitamin water. So it's zero, zero sugar, zero sodium, zero everything, because it's just flavored water. And I use that and it gives that base flavor. And then I just add ice to it. And honest to God, it was not bad. It wasn't bad at all. Um, and then also I can make fruit smoothies. I have another um, recipe that's a chocolate peanut butter. And that one's very good too. And it's still very well in my calorie count. So chocolate peanut butter, well in your calorie count, great. Protein's good for diabetics to keep your insulin levels stable. I mean, I can run mental gymnastics around this too. Smoothies are going to be a safer call, just so I know that I'm eating something because I have to take my metformin. So I have to have something in my stomach in the morning and at night. Okay, um, good. But you know, I'm just, I'm learning how to accept the actions that I'm making and in owning them and just saying, you know what, there is no excuse. There is no, nothing that I'm doing that I- So what was the whole point of this video? You're talking about there is no excuse for what you're doing. Just admit what the hell you did over the last week to gain 19 pounds. That's not a UTI, that's an excuse. I can blame on anybody else but myself. And that's the darnest truth. And I understand that and I know that, but it's hard because a lot of people want to see the negative and that's it. And I feel like I always have to explain myself and fight for my innocence and tell people, no, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. What did I lie for? I'm not. You know, people who have to repeat and reiterate over and over and try to convince people that they're good people, they're not lying. I mean, you're, you're good people and you're people who don't lie routinely don't need to convince people of that pretty obvious to see on it you're on your own not lying. in reality i don't need to do any of that because the people that are truly here to support me and stand behind me they're the ones that believe me and know that i'm telling the truth okay great but you're not going to gain any other supporters by yelling at them other than that i can't i cannot fight my innocence with people that are never going to see the innocent in me that they're then not no, they're going to see the truth. oh yeah you know what she is proving herself yeah she if they is don't believe the you they don't believe oh, you wow. I mean, yeah you know what she is talking more fuck. sense i'm never going to reach that with some of you guys because you don't want to see that but you know i mean that's just where i'm at is you know and that's why i said i'm not reading comments because i i mean you're not reading comments. You're reading comments. Wait, wait. I, I don't know what more I can do to make people believe that I am not lying, that I'm seriously telling the truth. You know, and like I just said, if I wanted to not step to on the scale because I wanted to be shady with you guys and not show you a way in, I could have done that on Wednesday. But you know what? I owned it. I stepped on the scale. And yeah, it was what it was. Nobody am is I forcing proud of you to do this. Not. Why was is I she back? so angry? Sure was. But you know what? I dusted off my knees and I said, you know what? Today is a new day. This is a new week and we're going to do this and we're going to own it and we're going to make it right. And that's what I'm doing. But it's you know, I feel really bad for saying at the beginning of this She seemed like a nice bubbly person because boy that sure has changed hard when I've got so many people negatively Whispering in my ear that I am this and I'm that and I'm a horrible this and I'm a horrible that and Man just I try that's all I can say is I am trying I'm doing the best That's I can. all you can do you know grow is fine look, do your best and ignore and everybody else Take care Walmart of you and, and your kids and like candies and I was like, no, we're not gonna do that. So what did I do? I bought strawberries. I brought them home, I washed them, and I cut the little tips off of it. And we have more than little tips off of that. Those have the strawberries still so there. I am there. trying to start putting things where they used to have different things that were candy based. Now maybe you should okay, start to have fresh strawberries. Yourself. They're sweet. They're good. They kill the sweet tooth, and you're still getting a fruit. You know. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. But all I can tell you guys, I'm trying. You know. And Either it's accepted or it's not, but I don't have time to control that. I can't control that. All I can say is I am trying and I want to do the best I can because I want everybody to be proud of me. That's what it comes down to. And I am aware that I'm never gonna make people proud. There are gonna be very- When you're choosing to put somebody at some high expectations, I really hope that you look at yourself and that you have the same standards that you're putting towards somebody else because- Agreed. Because I see a lot of people that put standards out there and they're not the same standards Have that they hold for. Have you listened to yourself at all in these past, I got, I don't even know, 20 minutes? Themselves. 
So that's just something to go back and think about. But anyways, oh, I am going to go. I need to go get the kids in their pajamas and wash my face and get my jammies on. And then it's going to be movie night and relaxing for a little bit. So anywho, I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day today. I am sorry that this is late coming up, but I just, like I said, I was just going to Walmart trying to get stuff done and traffic was crazy, crazy. So this is when I have a chance to do it. But anyways, oh, take well, care you guys and I will see you guys again real soon. The the video okay. so people will come back so they think that um, we like them again. I don't know. I might have to watch more of her. She's she's quite something. Um, I I I just don't know what to say with her. Um, at first, I thought she was this nice, friendly, bubbly person. I wasn't gonna get into any of the drama. There's a whole lot of it. I'm fairly new to this. As far as the medical things are concerned, I'm not surprised that her A1C is up. Um, I'm really curious to know, I'm curious to see her lab work, honestly. I'm really curious to see where she actually, if she actually gained the 19 pounds in a week, because it certainly wasn't from water weight, weight when she just said that she went to the doctor, everything was fine, um, except for a UTI, and you don't gain 19 pounds in a week with fully functioning kidneys. Um, from a UTI and you don't gain it from being on track eating Taco Bell one day in the in the, in the week. Um, I don't know her that well. I'm not going to throw my opinion out there of, you know, like a, a binging or, or whatever. But um, she's quite the character. She, she's happy to, to yelling at our subscribers. So... I guess I'll kind of keep her on the back burner and see where it goes from there. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me, please list them in the comments down below. Um, if you would like me to react to something, um, and just tell me what you think. Do you watch Amy? Do you know her? Is there something I'm missing? You know, I'm, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to criticism. If, if I got something wrong, please let me know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not trying to replace their doctors. I'm just a nurse, I'm a registered nurse, and I'm just reacting to some of the stuff that I see on YouTube and trying to correct the misinformation that people are putting out there. Or the use, or the, uh, I don't know, or the, or the gaslighting, but mostly just the, just the misinformation that people are putting out there and the excuses that they're using for you know, this health problem, that health problem. I mean, whatever. So, I really want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you will consider subscribing and you'll come back. Leave me comments down below. Um, even if you just want to tell me hello, that's fine too. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you again. And I promise Charlie will be back soon. Have a good day.